I'm visiting with world and Olympic champion, United States gymnast, cancer survivor, and mother, Shannon Miller. A few years ago, after giving birth to their first child, Rocco, Shannon was diagnosed with a rare form of ovarian cancer. After surgery to remove a baseball-sized tumor and her left ovary, she went through a grueling nine-week chemotherapy regimen. Two and a half years after the diagnosis and dealing with the reality that a second child may not be possible, Shannon and her husband are preparing to welcome their baby girl this June. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your amazing journey so far and give us an idea of how far you've come and you've persevered and most importantly, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you, Shelly. You know, as an Olympian and mom, I am fortunate to have a seemingly unending supply of fight in me. But that didn't come without a lot of training, dedication, planning, and experience to combat each and every challenge that comes my way, whether it's in athletic competition, as a patient, or as a mom. What I learned through gymnastics was that we're all going to fall on our backside a time or two. We are all going to face challenges in our lives, whether it's a major illness, a new job, or the many everyday tasks we just have to achieve. The most important thing is how we rise to meet those challenges. Handling pressure and adversity, it's all about understanding the things that you can control. And for me, it came down to preparation. Each and every day, moms actively plan to handle the eventualities that may come their family's way. And moms, moms are natural fighters. We prepare, we dig in, we do the work. We create a game plan, we formulate goals, accept support, and, and keep communication open amongst our team. Most importantly though, we actively educate ourselves to make the best possible decisions regarding our family's health and future. Shannon, you and your husband chose stem site to bank your first child Rocco's umbilical cord blood stem cells, and you're once again turning to stem site. As you anticipate the arrival of your baby girl this summer, tell us why you decided to bank your children's cord blood. Well, Shelley, based on what I've learned about umbilical cord blood banking and the potential use of those cord stem cells, I can't imagine not banking our baby's cord blood. My husband and I decided to bank Rocco's cord blood after researching the topic and discovering the amazing healing potential umbilical cord blood stem cells had, treating otherwise untreatable diseases, and that was almost four years ago. When you consider that the stem cells in cord blood are currently used to treat over 80 diseases, and then take a look at all the research that's going on to treat many more conditions like stroke, heart disease, and diabetes, just to name a few, it's a pretty easy decision. When it comes to treatment, if a stem cell transplant is an option, then we wanna have that option. Having battled a rare form of ovarian cancer myself, I understand now more than ever our health must be a priority. If there's something that I can do today, like banking our children's cord blood that could help them down the road, then you bet I'm gonna do it. Shannon, knowing you as we do, I'm sure you've done your homework before you selected a cord blood bank. Now, tell us why you decided to go with stem sight. Sure, and you're absolutely right. It's always so important to do your homework. And you know, there were quite a few banks out there to choose from. In the end, we decided to go with StemSight because they have several important qualities that we were looking for. StemSight has both public and private banking available, and they have practical experience because they've shipped over 1,800 cord blood units to transplant facilities all over the world. They're also fact accredited, which is the foundation for the accreditation of cellular therapy. And we didn't find another private bank that was fact accredited. Why the decision to bank privately as opposed to donating to a public bank? Well, that's a great question. We chose to bank privately with StemSight for several reasons. By having our children's cord blood stored privately, we know that we don't have to worry about finding a matching unit if it's ever needed. Each child's blood is a perfect match because, after all, it's their own blood. But we also wanted to be assured that our cord blood was being processed by a bank that has the same high standards that the FDA requires of a public bank. We were also impressed by the fact that they're involved directly with research, like Dr. Young's Spinal Cord Injury Project, because as scientists discover new applications, the value of having those cord blood units available can only increase. Speaking of new applications, 
As you know, stem site is now collecting umbilical cord tissue in addition to cord blood. Are you planning to save your baby girl's cord tissue as well? Absolutely, and Shelly, we did our homework on this subject too. Stem site collects cells from the lining of the umbilical cord, and this lining yields very large numbers of special stem cells called mesenchymal and epithelial stem cells. Researchers are very excited about the possible applications of these cells for regenerative medicine, which is using these cells to help the body repair itself in seemingly miraculous ways. We decided that even though these cells from the cord lining are still in the research and clinical trial phases, the abundance and variety of cells available will be used by patients within a time window that makes collection and harvesting a sound idea now. I understand that you've recently teamed up with some other celebrities in an initiative called Stars for Stem Cells. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, Stars for Stem Cells is all about education. Our thought was to give back to the community using our, our celebrity status to reach out and educate parents about the need to store or donate their baby's cord blood. It's a great way to get expecting parents to do their homework, like we did, because it's something you have to decide on before your baby is born. When the folks at StemSide asked me to join the project, I, I didn't hesitate. Shannon, thank you so much for taking the time to visit with us, especially as you're so close to delivering your new baby girl. You're an inspiration to parents everywhere, and especially those of us who are familiar with the challenges of being a mom. My pleasure, Shelley. You know, if the information we've discussed here encourages parents to save this precious resource and eventually saves even one life, it was absolutely worth it.